Oh, we've got some fresh supplies. Yeah, what's up to you? What's up, what's up? We just got these in. There are next 100 sets of the custom pass aluminum arms. Um, oh yeah, and as a reminder, they're still on sale until April 30th. April 30th will be our last day to take advantage of our sale for $9.95 plus shipping. Because May 1st, they'll go back to $12.49.99 plus shipping. Nice. Well, they look good though. You hear that guys? April 30th, last day of the sale. Take advantage of it, please. Decided what we're gonna do with the get in there. The hunt inside. The hunt yeah. inside. So what we're planning on doing this. We got a mock-up motor here. We're gonna use the D series. Um, D series with a B series tranny. Somewhere we read in the internet saying that uh, um, it could be done. So we went ahead and tried to do it ourselves and all that. And it seems like everything is um, fitting up and all that. We got to do it without without adapter plate. Yeah, without the, no yeah. adapter plate. So basically, a plateless plateless B uh, D to B. All right. So I'll hold this. Okay. Bro, so this is this is a B series flower. That's a mock up, Correct. right? Correct. Yeah, yeah it's this is B series. Yeah. And you can see on the B series, two bolts lined up because it's uh, B series has um, eight eight holes. Yeah. And then the D series has six holes. So we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do about this, but for right now, custom flywheel. Well, yeah, either a custom figure flywheel or if someone has it already. So we'll figure it out. So, but first thing we did is this is the B series all-wheel drive bell housing, and we tried. That's from a CRV. Like. Yeah, CRV, ninety-seven to an one CRV. So that's B series. So we tried it on both sides. We found out that. Oh, this this side and this side. We yeah, found we out found this out side here is the, is the only side that, works. that actually goes. Well, bolt up. So go ahead and bolt yeah. it up. And everything else you're gonna you're gonna have to. Everything else up. is you have to adjust. Yeah. Yep. So this bolt is the only one that actually bolts up. But you can just leave. You don't have to make it tight. Okay. And so then this this is a this is how transmission. We're gonna line it up. Transmission output shaft. Yep. Output shaft. So we line that up. Went inside. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna use this as an alignment. So as you can see, this hole here is the only one that lines up. And this one here, if you look inside, it's off off a little bit. Uh, so yeah. we're gonna have to um, drill a hole right here uh -huh. so we can make it fit. It's off, I'm gonna say about maybe a quarter inch. If would, even that. It's just would you, would you it's fill just the right hole here. and then re-drill re or not? No, you don't need no. to. Okay. You don't need to because it's gonna be plenty. Cause this hole is lined up and then on this one here, this one here, we have to. This weld is the, the only one that we have to weld. We the block. have to weld. We're gonna weld a piece onto the block and and tap it so that we can thread a bolt in this way mm -hmm. to the block. And then there's gonna be another one down here. So same, we're gonna build. Scenario. No, with this one we're gonna try to build a bracket, a bracket so that we can take it on and put it back off. Okay, so the nice. only really parts that are gonna be is gonna be here, here, and then on the other side. Well, this one here we're gonna go tap, ahead and yep, tap this one. This side here. And then right here, as you can oh, right see, right here, gonna tap into here. Yeah, this one bit. here, this hole here. There's no hole here, so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and then make this thing um, drill this thing out more. Oh, nice. You know? And then one more down here, and that's it, right? That's yep, down it. here, as you can see, there's nothing here. There's just a big hole, basically. Yeah. Like if you put it through, there's nothing. See, there's nothing there. See. Yeah. So what we're gonna do? That's why we have this plate here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna try and take this one off. Take this off. So this here because the bolt, this hole right here, it actually sits right here like this. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we made this and it's made it to press fit. We're gonna bang it in. Yep. up and then we're gonna weld it we're gonna weld it and then we're gonna drill the hole and tap this okay we're gonna that's do it right now, we right? yeah that's what we're gonna do you ready jet piece of cake 
Nice, man. So we'll see how it goes. This is going, this is D to B all the drive train. Yes, so we got two motors right now that we're working on. We got one over there, um, three, 300, 350. That's the one that we're gonna go. We're gonna mock everything up, make new mounts, make mounts and everything for it. For the inside, For the inside, right? yeah. yeah. And then we're gonna run that, get it everything, you know, nice and, um, basically running and all that and as soon as we get everything all tweaked out yeah we're gonna pull that motor out and then we got another Put 600 horsepower six seven hundred horsepower d series that we're gonna drop in yep and we're gonna go try to chase the, the world's record. record we'll see that's the goal well, that's our the goal. latest person is chad mm -hmm. he's gaining that weight so maybe not <laughs> he's gaining kind of weight yeah <laughs> fat boy low mang <laughs> low mang i, think I weighed the same yeah. or high mang Low? High? Low mang. No, high mang. No. <laughs> so, all right. D series, the B series, all the drive. No adapter plate. He's getting it done. Coming out there. got done. The weld looks nice. I presume it was hard to weld because it's a little dirty, right? But yeah, it's in there. Flat. Good. <laughs> yep, clean it up. Yep, all good to go. We just got done welding this right here. Mm -hmm. And then what's going to happen is this right here is going to get drilled right in the middle here. Get tapped. It's all black, yeah. Pretty much pressed to fit in here, so. And then we're gonna um, we're gonna drill it, and then we're gonna tap it, and that's where the bolt's gonna hold from here. So it's perfect; it's right in the middle. Well, on the, on the, the top one right here, just gonna this one, the top one on this side here, right here, we're gonna basically um, well, drill this part of here off, just a little off of it. So instead of being instead of being centered like this, the bolt is actually like here, like this. So we have to drill. Just this little small part off of here. Of right? yeah. uh, oblong it, I guess. It's oblong, yeah. yeah. Right here. So oblong. That and then this one also. Well, oblong this one also. Right here. Because when we drill, we drill into the hole. We can use instead of an M, um, instead of a M10. Yeah. We can use an M8 right here just to hold this. Because we also got this side. You know, it's going to be holding it. So, so that this one. Cool. One, two, three, four, five. We got six, seven, seven bolts. I like seven. Yeah, that should, yeah. that should do it. Plenty. So. Nice, man. So now Chad's over here. He's doing the other piece for. Um, on the block? On the block, yeah. Okay. The block, so. Yeah, this came out good. The block is for this piece. It's one of these. Yeah, this part. Hey, Chad, you got that piece of the block? Let's check it out. What up, man? Two step, two step, two step. Two step, two step, two step. Baked. <laughs> bake, bake, bake. Yeah, you want to see? Yeah, let's see. Oh, okay. This piece, this yeah. little piece right here. This is where one of the bolt holes line up to. So we're just going to weld clean this piece. Clean it, weld it on, and tap. Clean it, weld it on, and we're going to tap it. Done. Nice. Just like that. Also, we got. Oh, check this out over here. Divion! 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 Come here! So, Divion. <laughs> we got Divion right here. Come on, Divion. Came through. Came through with the block. See that? Oh, nice. So, Can you put it up here, Sam? All right, tell us what is you got. Too, too tell heavy? us what you brought us. Can, can, you bring, can you bring it up here? D series, man. Uh, put, up, put, put it right there. Right, let's put it here. Come on, man. It ain't that heavy. It's a D series. It's you bring the mad thing, my yard. Mad thing. Mad professor. <laughs> broken finger. Like a week. Whoa. Oh. That's what he brought us. What? Who brought us? That's some, that's some uh, darn sleeves? Mm -hmm. Yeah, darn sleeves. Wow, that's beautiful. It is. It's 80 over. We got custom Aries pistons, uh, mainly turbo tough uh, rods. 
Um, obviously, we're going to get those King's uh, bearings. We're going to send those out and get them extra color coated just so that way we can put some extra wear on those things. Um, everything's already bored and everything. Rings are got. Um, they ready to rock. Just got to put it together. Uh, the head's fully built, fully ported and polished. Uh, we got a custom 282 cam from Delta. Um, Delta Airlines? No, yeah, yeah, because yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're about to take the fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! So, right there, right? Yep, right here. A little single cam well, that could. Well, that mug on in the strip. Yeah, that's right? it. Weld yep. it and drill it. Okay. Innovative business. And if you ever need to use it, we didn't touch any of the factory stuff, so if you ever want to bolt it onto a front wheel drive, we can. What's up, fine thing? What's up, mastermind with this fine thing? Look at that. Couple made in heaven. Came to be with us on earth. How lucky we are. <laughs> I'm gonna put that on. I'm gonna put that one on. Damn, she rolled up in this. Damn, how much people are looking on you in this mug? Come on, come tell me about your car. Come on. Bye, honey. Here. You have time to talk about the car today? Not really. Not really? Okay, Alright. What, what's done what's done to it though, so far? Just the Tomy exhaust. Tomy exhaust. And yeah. what year is it again? So 2009. 2009. Okay, cool. All right. See you later. See ya. All right. Bye. That's how she rolled it. Cool. Got it drill tapped. Yep. Everything's nice. all lined up and all that. That's B series um, flywheel. So we're gonna do. Gonna put a start on it. Put power and see if it just if it fixed. works. Yeah. Yep, see if it works. Oh, this type came out nice. Eh? Yep, so we did that. Went through. That's the one that we welded on here. Yep. Sweet. And so the other one, the other one on the this inside. This one here. Yeah. This one that we had to go over. On the side. Over, yeah. But it, it thread so nice, right? Can come thread, out. You know? perfect, perfect. This uh, that's the one that that's just by perfect. itself. Yep. This is the one that we welded just on here. And tap. It's tap. Yep. Mm -hmm. Drill and tap, so it's perfect. So nice. now we got to make a bracket. That's good. And here, you with know. this being this one and, and the one up top over there, everything is good, dude. Yeah, you know what I mean? Everything's lined up. Everything's, everything's all lined up. So, nice. So, so we're gonna make a bracket over here for you know for more support down here. A little bit more support, yeah. So down here okay. and then brackets. Yeah, we're, we're gonna go pick up the EK. The inside is all painted. We gotta take off this Mayada. This Mayada is gonna be case swapped. Hey, Sang. Yes, sir. This Mayada is case swapped, right? Yeah, we got it case swapped. Pinoy style? Yeah, Pinoy style. Oh, yeah. Pinoy style. Right? Pinoy. Oh, he speaks because of you. <laughs> yep. I know you guys, we got a lot of projects, but you know, we're trying to do them. These people need their cars because they got to get to work. Some of them work at a hospital, you know what I mean? Essential. Oh, yo, yo, it came off. The wheels came off. What? The wheels right here, look at The wheels came off on the car, lift up. Oh, no, that's fine. Oh no, the whole thing came off. Yeah, the whole thing came off. So, but, well, we'll just drop it on it, thing, and then um, just put it in. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Right. yeah, let's drop it. Yo, this way of lifting up the car, like straight up. <laughs> the whole thing is off. Yeah, dude, the whole thing is off. Right it's all good. <laughs> just put it on there, and then we'll get it off when we get to the top. Oh no, what's up there? Give me some more guys. Come in tonight. Ready? Jump up here if you need to. On the trailer? Okay. Come on, there's no motor now. Perfect. Dude, that thing straight up came off. But <laughs> busted it right off, dude. You guys gonna just lift this mug in right now? Yeah, you guys just gonna lift it. Get the engine horse. No, you guys just gonna lift it. Get the engine horse. Wait, you should go on this side. Oh shit, I'm, I'm cracking. You gotta go low. <laughs> <laughs> no, get down, go down, get down. Watch your phone. Oh! <laughs> 
<laughs> I didn't think it was gonna be that easy. You guys made it look so easy. You hear this guy? <laughs> update. Oh, yeah, we're looking good. Oh, I'll see you guys mock it up in there for the mouse. All right, so what you're looking at right now is um, we have it mocked up um, with uh, the drive shaft angles. So basically, like we shoved the rod through here, yeah. check to make sure all the angles for the uh, axles and the rear drive shaft are going to be okay. okay. So right now, this is relatively where it's going to sit. It's a tiny bit crooked, but it needs to be yeah. in order to sit in there right. Um, so this block that's currently in here is just going to be our mock-up block, but uh, piston rod only. Uh, everything we do to this is going to be for the new motor, which you guys can come see over here. Okay. So the turbo we're going to use first is this Turbonetics journal bearing. It's pretty much a 6262, same size. Yeah. So, you know, 600 horsepower turbo, but we'll change that in the future. Um, so this is what we're using. Uh, Manly, these are forged. Uh, rods, H beam rods, and then Ari's pistons. Oh, you got you got a block out. You're doing some um. Yeah, the block. Checking. So we're double checking all the uh, measurements and stuff for the block. Like I said, this is going to be the second motor. We're going to get it running with that one first. Yeah. But yeah, this is a sleeved block. Is that, that darn sleeve. So. Yeah, darn sleeve block. Um, everything's all here. We're going to remeasure everything. The head's sitting over there on the other side. And of that's, the a, that's a beefy cam right there going in yeah, there? Yeah, it's the biggest cam you could pretty much buy for a single cam. I'm guessing this is going to be cut and ported. So this also. is going to be ported and repowder coated. We're using a different throttle body. Uh, Sone wants to use he wants to use it off a different car. I'm not 100% sure which one that is. But okay. The only thing we don't have here is uh, injectors and the fuel, which we're going to worry about after the motor's in. Nice. But like you can see here. Oh, I see you got that. Uh, the Yep, look at that, look at that guys, that's that's a D to B, no, oh, yeah, no, no adapter that. plate. I forgot, yeah, D to B, no adapter plate, yeah. No adapter plate. See that? We're going to show you guys how that's done, um, either before this video or after the video. Cool, man. It's pretty nice. Yeah, coming I'm together. I'm excited for this one. Yep. Right here, a little update on our EK. As you guys can see, our diff kit is a bolt tank kit. Subframe, frame rail, and even the one above the diff. You can bolt it in, you know, definitely. But what we recommend is welding it. As soon as you bolt it in, you know, you weld it. That way you can take this off. Weld this so that way you can take it off. It's not just one bar. Right here's gonna be welded. Right here's gonna be welded, you know, for the additional brace and support because it's going to be high and you know, another one of our high horsepower cars right here this is the ek coupe the power stand rack came in painted it putting on some more things it came back from the paint shop we painted the the inside got painted inside got painted pretty good this is silence of lamb this is his car so <laughs> coming together. You gotta work on some more stuff today on it. Suspension. I'll show you guys later how the inside paint job come up, but it came up pretty good. But everything is going together on this car. This car is not coming off the lift until it's rolling. So stay tuned for more EK coupe updates. Common question that we get from our customers when they receive our cast arms and they're in the process of installing them. Yeah. Um, the biggest question we get is what type of rotors, calipers, and caliper brackets can they use with our arms and our hubs. So, here we have our custom cast aluminum all-wheel drive trailing arm, one arm. And this one is, um, of course you see that it's polished, but they don't, they don't come polished, they come just bare aluminum. And this one has the uh, version 2 or the most upgraded, uh, updated um, tow adjusters. And this is our four lugs. Um, the 4x100 hubs with the pre-drilled hose for the option to go 4x114.3. So the question is, um, what type of rotors, calipers, and caliper brackets um, can you guys use with our cast arms? If you are running the four lug hubs, you'll be using, and, and keep in mind, all of our products are made compatible with OEM parts and OEM location. So with that being said, you'll be using just regular Civic or, or Integra um, rotors, calipers, and caliper brackets as you see here. 
For the five lug hubs, of course, you'll be using the Civic Type R, CTR, or the ITR, Integra Type R, rotors and calipers. Um, as far as caliper brackets, you can also use the uh, RSX caliper brackets. But if you don't plan on using the e-brake cable bracket, you can also you can actually just use all RSX. Um, but if you do want to run the e-brake cable brackets, then you'll use the rotors from the ITR Civic Type R, um, Integra Type R, Civic Type R, or uh, for the rotors and calipers, and then the caliper brackets will be from the RSX. Here, I'd also want to include, um, so keep in mind, this here is our um, custom e-brake cable brackets for our cast aluminum arms only. And these are not included with the arms when you purchase, it, purchase them. They are sold separately. And the reason for that is because not everybody goes, uh, not everybody use, utilizes these. Sometimes they use staging brakes or sometimes they don't use brakes at all, the e-brakes. So this is the factory brakes. And as you can see, when you install this on, there's no way it'll clear the cast aluminum arms. Therefore, you have the option to purchase this as well to go with your cast arms. And it goes right into the OEM location. However, the arm is pushed to the side, kicked to the side so that it, it can clear your cast arms, okay? So that's what we wanted to show you. Um, we do get these questions a lot. Um, once again, if you have our four lug hubs, you'll be using Civic, um, regular Civic or Integra rotors, calipers, caliper brackets. If you're using the five lug hubs, then you'll be using the um, ITR or Civic or uh, CTR rotors, calipers, and even the RSX caliper brackets will work as well. And you guys know, if you have any additional questions, you can always reach out to us through email at info at s1built.com. We'll be more than happy to answer any additional questions you have. Put some lights in the EK so you guys can see how the inside got painted. Inside got painted bright red. Door panels right there didn't get painted, but their cage got painted. Bright red. It's coming together. More parts installed. Pants look very nice. You got you good, man. What up, man? What are you doing? Well, uh, just actually going over these, uh, the inside and uh, seeing what we need next for it. Okay. Also, this motor over here. Oh, yeah, I just want to remind the uh, followers that we haven't forgotten about our, um, our EK hatch um, project yet. Just got so much going on. But on this one, we're waiting for the clutch to come in. It should be in any time now. And uh, just going over some stuff, trying to see what we need, making sure that we get everything that we need for it so we can get the ball rolling on this all-wheel drive for the inside. Yep. Um, oh, and also, um, we just want to say that uh, we appreciate everyone for tuning back into our channel and uh, we can appreciate you guys more for all the love and support that we've been receiving um, these past few days, weeks, actually, have been quite overwhelming, um, of course, for the better, in a good sense. So we definitely appreciate everyone. Thank you guys and have a good night.